Hey, what's up everybody? This is Zach Rizet with BuildBox. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get started making a space shooter game with BuildBox. Now, this is just the first video, so I'm just going over the basics and getting things set up. We're gonna to continue to build on this video throughout the week. And if you thought this video was useful and you wanna see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Like and subscribe. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up BuildBox. I'm going to click Create New in the upper left-hand corner to start a new file. And I'm gonna name the name of this game Space Shooter. I'm going to leave it as portrait. I'm going to keep the score type. Actually, I'm going to change the score type to points collected. And I'm going to keep the gameplay type as default. We'll do single world, world end action, endless. And we'll add in a pause button. And I think we're good. So let's go ahead and click create. Okay, so BuildBox has already generated a game for us. Let's click in the upper right hand corner and click the play button to preview the game. Okay, so BuildBox has already started off with an awesome template for us. Looks like we've got a little ball character who's able to move upwards and downwards, left and right, and you have to avoid these little triangles, and I think the walls as well. And so this is just a basic avoidance game. So if I hit one of the triangles, my character's defeated. Okay, so this is a really great template to start off with, but we're gonna make some changes real quick. And first what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these gray blocks here that are surrounding the character. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of delete all of this so we can start off with a real clean template. So that looks pretty good. I'm pressing space bar on my keyboard right now so I can change it into this little glove and I can move it around and shift things left and right and recenter them. So I'm going to recenter it and I think I'm going to go ahead and change the background first to more of a spacey background. Okay, so first I'm going to drag in the space background. Okay, so I've got a nice space color. I'm going to go ahead and widen this out a little bit so that it, the, there's one color I'm working with. Okay, so I really like this color. And then I'm going to change the speed of this background to zero so that it is just stagnant and is just staying in one place and it never moves around. So over here, I'm going to press on the lock button. So that's going to freeze my background and that's going to allow me to click on other things without interrupting my background. So I'm going to move it down just a little bit so that it's below the character. And I'm going to click on the background that was given to us and the dark clouds that was given to us and I'm going to delete both of those. So I'm pressing delete on my keyboard to get rid of those. So we've got our little ball character here and we've got this space background. It's really empty right now so let's go ahead and add in some stars. So I got a couple different starry background images and I think it's a good idea to mix different star backgrounds together so that you can get some depth and you can get stars moving on top of other stars and it really looks kind of spacey. So I'm going to drop this in as a background. Okay fantastic. So, okay, so the speed is set to one. Let's go ahead and check to see that the stars are moving in the right direction because right now you can see um, on the top right here in this, this orange arrow, our scene is moving upwards. So that's the direction and you can you saw in the preview that it's that's how it's moving. So let's go ahead and make sure the stars are moving that direction as well. Ah, so you can see that the stars are actually moving left to right. And so it makes the character look like he's moving to the right. But the truth is, is that we're actually moving upwards. So we need to fix that right now. So I'm going to go over here to the upper right hand corner I'm going to change the rotation of the background image to negative 90 So let's make sure that that's going in the right direction because we don't want them moving upwards I believe that this is going to make them move towards the character, which is what we want We want it to look like the character is moving through space Okay, great. So it might be tough to see on your screens, but you can see now that there's little pixelated stars that are moving down past the character. So it really makes the character look like he's moving through space. So we wanna go ahead and keep that. It does seem like it's moving a little bit too fast, so we might slow down the speed, but other than that, it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna go over here to the speed, and I'm gonna change it to 0 0.7. So I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit. Next, I'm gonna add in a couple more starry backgrounds. So I'll add in starry background number two. Okay, cool, it's already giving us a little bit more depth. I'm also going to change the rotation. So I'm gonna to go to rotation, I'm gonna change it to negative 90. And then I'm gonna change the speed to about 0 0.5. Okay, so I'm gonna add a couple more starry backgrounds and then I'm gonna check it out and see how everything's looking. So I'm adding in starry background number three. Looks good, I'm gonna change the rotation I'm gonna change the rotation to negative 90, and I'm gonna change the speed to 0 0.8, just a little bit different than the others and kind of give it some depth. So I'm gonna click out of that, and then I'm gonna add in a fourth. Okay, so I'm adding in my fourth starry background, 
And wow, it really, really helps to have multiple backgrounds to give it that full texturized look. It's really coming together right now. So I'm gonna go to the upper right hand corner and I'm gonna change this one to negative 90 as well. And I'm gonna change the speed to 0 0.3, real slow. So now I should have a whole mix of speeds and starry backgrounds, so let's check it out. So I'm gonna press play, and then here's our preview. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. I think that the black specs are moving a little bit fast for my taste, but I think that I can sort of live with that. I might slow down the black specs and, and make those be some of the slower moving stars. So I'm gonna exit out of my preview. So I'm gonna go over here to the upper left hand corner and I'm gonna change the speed out of the starry background space game 0001. So this is my first background. So I'm gonna go over here to the right side and I'm gonna change it from 0 0.8 to 0 0.6. And let's check, check that now. So I'm gonna press play. Yeah, that's much better. Honestly, those little black specks looked like they were just falling really, really too fast. And so it was kind of distracting. See, this is kind of more of a floating feel. And honestly, I think all of the stars need to move, be moving pretty slow because that gives it more of a spacey feel. So I think we're, I'm pretty happy with this right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start changing some other things. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with what we've got so far. I think we've got a good foundation. I think I'm ready to bring in my main character. So I'm gonna go over here to the upper left. I'm gonna click on characters, and then this is gonna open up the character window, and I'm going to click on my little character until you see that green outline. This is going to open up a menu over here on the right, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag my image over here into the top. Okay, so I just dragged in my image. Give it a few seconds. Okay, so we've got our character in there let's take a look at the collision shape and the animation speed it's always good practice whenever you're dropping in an object an action or anything new into buildbox to check the collision shape and the animation speed so I'm going to go over here to the top right and I'm going to click on collision shape and you can see right here that the collision shape is off but it's a really easy fix I'm going to go ahead and just move it up here a little bit and I'm going to widen it out a little bit so I'm going to make it so that you really have to hit the body of the spaceship for your character to be defeated. I'm gonna make it so that the tip can clear and hit things and also the wings just a little bit. But if the main bulk of the body of the spaceship gets hit, that's when the character is gonna get defeated. And sometimes it's good to have this sort of setup and to have these forgiving rules, especially with collision shape. So I'm gonna click out of my shape editor and over here on the right, I'm gonna get rid of the move animation and I'm going to click on the little X here to delete the animation. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this little edit button that looks kind of like a marker and this is going to mess with the animation speed so here's our animation editor and I'm gonna go ahead and just play the animation and see how it's working okay good I think that's really I think that works I actually don't think it is going too fast so I think that that's gonna be alright so I'm gonna just leave it how it is so I'm gonna exit out of my animation editor and now I'm gonna hit play and you can see here that I've got a little spaceship and he's able to move all around up and down side to side which is pretty cool but you know what I kinda of wanna switch around some of the game controls to make it more a little bit more restricted I don't want the character to be able to move all the way up to the top of the screen because then if one of the enemies comes up from the top then you won't be able to see it coming so I want to place my character somewhere around this area and I want to have a side to side action so I'm gonna set that up real quick so I'm gonna go over here to the right side and I'm gonna scroll down until I reach max speed and I'm gonna change the max speed in the Y direction to zero this is gonna make it so that I can only move left and right so let's go ahead and see what that looks like now. Okay, so I'm not able to move my character up and down. I'm only able to move side to side. But you know what? It's a little bit too far in the middle. I feel if objects came from the top, I wouldn't have enough time to avoid them. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to adjust that. I'm gonna exit out of my preview window and I'm gonna take my character and I'm going to just shift them down a little bit here straight down to right about there. Okay, that looks much better. We've got the spaceship centered and down here at the bottom, we've got the drag left and right option. You're not able to move it up and down, but that's what we want. And we're gonna go ahead and end it here today and we're gonna keep building off of this later on this week. So definitely stay tuned and watch what we build with this. <clears throat> All right, that's it for this video. We're gonna to continue to build this game up throughout the week. So if you wanna see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Like and subscribe.